the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video about Apple guys so I'm on a, a website here and they have issued an apology about the iPhone batteries and performance thing as you guys know uh, Apple is getting sued by people because the iPhones are getting slower because of older batteries and stuff like that so Apple has has issued an apology so let's see what this up apology says and um, let's see how it affects customers here so it says here we have been hearing feedback from our customers about the way we handle performance for iPhones with older batteries and how we have communicated that process we know that some of you feel Apple has let you down we apologize there's been a lot of misunderstanding about this issue so we would like to clarify and let you know about some changes we are making First and foremost, we have never and would never do anything to intentionally shorten the life of any Apple product or degrade the user experience to drive customers' upgrades. Our goal has always been to create products that our customers love and making iPhones last as long as possible is an important part of that. How's battery, how batteries age? All the charge of batteries are consumable components that become less effective as they chemically age and their ability to hold a charge diminishes. Time and the number of times a battery has been charged are not the only factors in this chemical aging process. Device use also affects the performance of a battery over its lifespan. For an example, leaving or charging a battery in a hot environment can cause a battery to age faster. These are characteristics of battery chemistry common to lithium ion batteries across the industry. A chemical age battery also becomes less capable of delivering peak energy loads, especially in a low state of charge, which may result in a device unexpectedly shutting itself down in some situations. To help customers learn more about iPhone rechargeable batteries and the factors affecting performance. We have posted a new support article, iPhone's batteries and performance. Check that out. I might check that out here in this little in, in this little while. Uh, it should go without saying that we think sudden unexpected shutdowns are unacceptable. We don't want any of our users to lose a call, miss a picture, miss taking a picture, or having any other part of the iPhone experience interrupted if we can avoid it. Preventing unexpected shutdowns. About a year ago in iOS 10.2.1, we delivered a software update that improves power management during peak workloads to avoid unexpected shutdowns on iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6s, iPhone 6s Plus, and iPhone SE. With the update, iOS dramatic mm -hmm dynamically manage the maximum performance of some system components when needed to prevent a shutdown. While these changes may go unnoticed, in some cases users may experience longer launch times for apps and other reductions in performance. Cosmos response to iOS 10.2.1 were positive as they successfully reduced the occurrence of unexpected shutdowns. We recently extended the same support for iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus and iOS 11.2. Of course, when the chemical age battery is replaced with a new one, iPhone performance returns to normal when operated in standard conditions. Recent user feedback. Over the course of this fall, we began to receive feedback from some users who were seeing slower performance in certain situations. Based on our experience, we intentionally thought this was due to a combined combination of two factors, a normal temporary performance impact when upgrading the operating system as iPhones installs new software and upgrades and update apps and, and minor bugs in the initial release were, which have been since been fixed. We now believe that other contributor to these user experience in the is the continued coming is the continued chemical aging of the batteries and older iPhone 6 and 6s devices, many of which are still running on their original batteries. 
addressing customer concerns. We have always wanted our customers to be able to use the iPhones as long as possible. We are proud that Apple products are known for their durability and for holding their value longer than our competitor devices. To address our customer's concern, to, re to recognize their loyalty and to regain tr the trust of anyone who may have doubted Apple's intentions, we have decided to take the following steps. Apple is reducing the price of an out of warranty iPhone battery replacement by $50 from $79 to $29 for anyone with an iPhone 6 or later who batteries needs to be replaced starting in late January and available worldwide through December 2018. Details will be provided soon on Apple.com. Early 2018 we will issue an iOS software update with new features that gives users more visibility into the health of their iPhone battery so they can see them see for themselves if its condition is affecting performance. As always, our team is working on ways to make the user experience even better, including improving how we manage performance and avoid unexpected shutdowns as battery age. So that's what Apple's going to do. Uh, starting in January, they're going to offer uh, out of warranty replacement batteries for 29 bucks. So that's pretty damn cool. Um, it says, at Apple, our customers' trust means everything to us. We will never stop working to earn and maintain it. We're able to do the work we love only because of your faith and support, and we'll never forget that or take it for granted. So there's there's the official statement from Apple. This uh, got published on Thursday. That's what Apple is apologizing for this um for this um for this misunderstanding and stuff like that. And so um they go to uh they they tell you how bad it's age and stuff like that. And I told you guys when I did a video about this a couple of days ago, I told you guys that over time your phone slows down and every time your battery gets weaker and weaker. Y'all should know that. I, I mean I get that you guys want your iPhone to last forever but it don't. Your iPhone your phones is not the phones do not last forever, they don't. They they, they 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 don't last forever. They don't they don't know. Nothing lasts forever anymore. Nothing. It's not no old Nokia thing that if you slam the bitch, it won't uh it won't break or whatever. That's what back in the day with our fans back in the day. You slam it, it wouldn't break. But now if you slam a fan on the ground, or whatever, the shit, the shit, the shit, the shit would just shatter. So. I'm just saying, guys. Batteries do get weaker every time. Chargers get weaker. Um, performance is slower, as you guys know. Cause once you guys buy a new fan, it will work like it's supposed to, hopefully. But over time, uh, electronics get slower, like computers, phones, and stuff like that. They get slower, cause it's not new anymore. It's older. They get slower. The iPhone, the oh, uh, I said iPhone six is not gonna be. As a uh, peak shape forever, it's gonna get slower, and then they tell you guys how bad it is and stuff like that. Uh, you can also check out the uh, this thing right here. I'll, I'll put a link to that in, in the description box video. Um, check that out. And they also said that um, un, un, unexpected shutdowns are acceptable, and yes, they are. Um, Preventing uh, un unexpected shutdowns. Um, you know, read that as well. User feedback, addressing customers are kind. Of, this is basically this last part's gonna address the customers' concerns about that. And Apple's gonna try to make it better for you guys. So first part, of what they're gonna do is if you guys. You, 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 you guys will be able to get your batteries replaced for 29 bucks starting in, starting in January 2018, and this goes until December 2018. Uh, stay tuned to Apple.com. We'll uh, be uh, uh, giving details on that soon. So you'll so you'll be able to get a out of warranty iPhone battery replacement for 29 bucks starting in January 2018. So uh, be on the lookout for that. So that's a win. Uh, that goes until December 2018. That's so that's a win as well. The second part says that uh, in early 2018, Apple will be uh, releasing a iOS software update with new features that gives you, the customer, um, 
more visibility into your battery health on your iPhone. So, so you guys will be able to understand your health, the health of the battery on your iPhone. So, Apple's gonna get, be updating that sometime in early 2018. So, have a feature to where you, you guys can check out your phone's battery and check out the health of it and stuff like that and etc. and such. So, hope that you guys will understand about that. And the third thing is that you know Apple's always just trying to work on ways to make the user experience better. You know every company says that. Um, and so they uh, try to improve performance and try not to uh, have um, unexpected shutdowns. As you know, as battery age, you know, shit happens. You know, no phone's perfect, but at least Apple, um, at least Apple is apologizing to its customers and stuff like that. So that's a win. And Apple don't, don't want to lose your trust and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, if you guys got, uh, if you guys are affected by this, uh, you guys will be able to get your um, iPhone battery replaced for 29 bucks. It's starting in January 2018 through December 2018. So be on the lookout for that. 29 bucks to get your battery replaced. It's not that bad. It's a lot better than uh, 79 bucks. So they're taking 50 dollars off for that. So that's a win. So yeah, you know, uh, great job, Apple, for apologizing to customers on this uh, unexpected issue, this un inconvenience issue. Um, I give Apple a lot of credit for coming out and, and apologizing to customers, and they're gonna do whatever they can to fix this issue. I do, I really appreciate that, you know, because you know, Apple's not perfect, but they do whatever they can to make the user experience as smooth as possible for the customers on the off on on iOS. So you do have to you do have to you know give Apple some credit on that. Apple's not perfect. Samsung's not perfect. LG's not perfect. Nobody is perfect in this world. And every you know, no phone is perfect. Every no phone will last forever. And batteries age, so your phone will get slower over time. Your battery, your battery will get weaker over time. So um, I'm glad that Apple came out and apologized to its customers. Um, so that so that's good. I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, um, if you guys want to know more about the um about iPhones rechargeable batteries and the facts and, and the facts of affecting this performance you, 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 you guys can check out this right here I will, I will be posting that in the uh, video description so check it out that will be the second link in this video description so check it out I'll read that very carefully and uh, yeah, hopefully that will help you out there so yeah man good job Apple for uh, coming out and apologizing to your customers cause you know a, a lot of people like the iPhone and stuff like that um, you know, so, uh, hopefully, uh, this, hopefully Apple will fix this issue, and hopefully this issue will never happen again, because, hey, you know, no one's perfect, like I said, guys, and like I said in my, uh, video about this a couple of days ago, I said that your phone gets slower, and your battery will get weaker, it happens to every electronic thing, your phone will get slower, your computer, your laptop, your tablet, everything like that gets slower every time, your battery gets weaker, it happens to every, electronics out there it's, it, it happens that uh, everything like that you know your iPhone is not going to last forever you know so you know great job Apple for apologizing to your customers uh, um, hopefully they'll fix this issue or uh, they'll fix it in early 2018 and like I said yeah, if you guys want to get your iPhone battery replaced uh, starting in January, they will be replacing it for 29 bucks until December 2018. So get that, you know, get your iPhone battery replaced for 29 bucks. It's a win right there. It's a lot better than 29 bucks. So y'all, yeah, guys. Yeah, so, um, yeah, guys. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.